fellow blockheads and welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does How To. This is going to be episode 5 and today we're going to be talking about archery ranges. This is actually going to be uh, the first of uh, quite a few videos I'm going to have on archery ranges. I actually fell down a rat hole uh, regarding archery, trying to find uh, some tips and tricks about archery range builds and uh, didn't have much luck. I'll talk a little more about that later. But I'm going to go ahead and show you this style. Now again, this is the first of a few different styles I'm going to show off. This is what I call a bud switch style archery range. So we're going to line up here. You can see the circle stones down there. We're going to try to shoot those. And just to make it challenging, we're covering half of them up. Now I'm a lousy shot, so this is probably a bad idea for me anyway. But nonetheless, ah, there we go. Two tr two shots, and I got it. So as you can see, the uh, targets do uh, pop up whenever you hit the tar the uh, target, which is the circle stone. Do it one more time here, if I can master it. <laughs> oh boy, ah, uh, that's that's. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll get it. I'll get it. Wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like I said, I'm a lot of shot. Um, I love this system. It's a very simple system. Very easy build. A very cheap build. And the reset, all you gotta do, just pull your arrows out. It is just that easy. Um, so again, really easy to do. Uh, really easy to to build and get resources for. So it's very survival friendly. I tell you what. Let me go ahead and uh, clear everything out, and I'll show you how to build this. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, let me go ahead and show you how to build this. Now, this is a really simple build, and it's a really cheap build. And this is what I love about this. It takes very few resources. As a matter of fact, the last three things I have here, pressure plates, sticky piston, and redstone, are really the, the meat and potatoes, the guts of the system. Um, the rest of it's all cosmetic. You can actually use whatever you like in here. So we're going to start off. Let's go ahead and throw down a redstone line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna make mine ten wide. You can make this whatever you'd like in terms of width. It really does not matter. Um, I just want to do ten wide just for kicks and giggles. Next, we're gonna lay down sticky pistons facing straight up. And again, we're just gonna go right down the back of this redstone line, ten wide. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and place down our targets here. I'm using circle stone because uh, it's a great target stone to have. And then we're going to lay pressure plates across the top. Now, I'm using wood pressure plates. You cannot use stone pressure plates that will not work. Uh, the ones I know of that will work are uh, wood, gold, and iron pressure plates. Um, iron and gold pressure plates have some unique properties that I'll get into some other time. So there you go. There's the, uh, the uh, system set up. This is, of course, tileable, as you can see. Uh, it will run as far and wide as you'd like it to be. And just as I showed you before, go ahead and grab my bow here. Uh, whenever you shoot the target, it's going to both uh, provide a redstone signal up here as well as down here, which is going to create that butt effect, and it's going to kick up that uh, piston. And as soon as you grab your, your uh, arrow, as you saw, it uh, pulls the thing back down, resets it. So that's the, the again, the, the functional side of it. Uh, visually, I go ahead and just uh, uh, do some visual work here, make it look pretty. Now, one little uh, pro tip. I actually used uh, stone brick uh, for a particular reason, and that is um, it happens to have uh, not only, of course, solid bricks, but it's also got steps, and of course, it's also got half slabs, and there's a reason for that. And I'm going to share that in just one second here. Uh, when you have steps upside down like this, as well as half slabs on top, you get this illusion of a single block going across here. And this is going to do two things. One, it gives that wonderful illusion of one block, so it looks normal, but it also hides half the circle stone. Now, contrary to what I may have said earlier, this is not just to make it challenging, this is actually to fix a problem. Again, this is a, a, a game glitch. Uh, when you fire an arrow into the block, and enacts that uh, pressure plate. The problem is, you fire it in the bottom half of the block, it does nothing. So, in order to eliminate the chance of somebody, you know, shooting the wrong part of the block and it not reacting, we just go ahead and cover that block half over, and that keeps it from uh, uh, being a problem, if you will. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish off by covering the top here. I'm going to set half slabs. Now it's going to isolate these targets here, make them look nice. And then we'll go ahead and, if you want from here, you can also uh, put up a, a top bar. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do stairs across the top here. 
I'm so bad when it comes to flying and trying to do this at the same time. Especially with stairs since I like to turn sideways on you. Uh, there we go. Almost there. Come on. Can do it. Aha. There we go. Now one last thing I do do is I go ahead and take these coal blocks and put them across the back here. This is just to get the area inside where the gold blocks are uh, nice and dim so they really stand out when they pop up. You can use, of course, uh, anything dark, uh, black wool, uh, nether brick, whatever whatever suits your, uh, suits your style. There we go. Take a look here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the ticket. So there you go. Real simple build. Real easy to use. Now, as I said, a couple of flaws to this is, first of all, it is a game glitch. It is not an a, uh, intended effect. So this could be fixed at any time. Who knows? Um, uh, beyond that, uh, again, put the half slabs up so you hit the right side of the block to get it to enact. Uh, that way there's no problems with it. And there is the possibility that when you are shooting the target, if you happen to get the arrow just close enough between the two, let's see if I can do it here, you can sometimes get uh, two of them to pop up at the same time. So that does happen on occasion. Of course, dads want to do it for me. Any case, so there you go, guys. Real simple build. Uh, again, very lightweight, very quick and easy to build. Tileable, you can make as big or small as you want. There's certainly a lot of other adaptations you can run with this. You can do timers and whatnot. I may revisit this particular style um, and do some more with it later. Who knows? Uh, there are a lot of other archery styles I want to uh, do some how-tos on. Uh, I looked all over the interwebs and did not see a lot of tutorials on archery ranges, uh, automated systems, or some kind of something other than just a wool target. Um, there have been a few things out there with, with paintings, um, and I've actually figured out a, I think, a better way to do that, and I'll be showing that probably in my next how-to. Um, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> uh, beyond that, guys, uh, I am still working on my secret project for the uh, minecarts uh, project I had been talking about for a while. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look into hopefully getting that finished up and get it out there. Um, as always, I appreciate uh, you watching with me. Uh, feel, free, feel free to leave a comment down below. I certainly do welcome input, whether it be uh, questions regarding the game, input about the game, or even just input about my videos in general. Uh, I'm still young to YouTube, and I'm always interested in getting feedback. How can I make this a little better, a little more interesting, a little more fun? Uh, so write down below. Feel free to comment down there. And of course, as always, hitting that like button really helps me out it gives me an idea of what to look for and what to do more of it gives me a little promotion to try to uh, get my message out there so to speak <laughs> so I appreciate that and if you really do enjoy the uh, builds I'm doing both in the uh, how to's and quick tips as well as in my server play series uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button I do try to keep videos coming out at about at least once a week I have been lucky enough <laughs> to get uh, two out a week uh, so far, but uh, you know, life comes up and things change and you never really know how they're going to end up turning out, so we'll see how that goes, but at least once a week. Um, beyond that, if you have any questions or want to have more uh, intellectual conversation, uh, you're certainly welcome to head on over to uh, the Ball Rocket Gaming server. Uh, that's ballrocketgaming.com. Um, Feel free to leave a comment there if you'd like. That's uh, where I do a lot of my uh, back and forth chattering with people. Uh, and I always certainly do, do enjoy getting a chance to talk with people. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, hey, take it easy.